Hello, welcome to Loop and Learn. I'm Mike, and this will be a very quick video on how to update and rebuild DIY Loop with the browser build method. This video may look a little different than usual because everything was done on a phone, but you can update and rebuild from GitHub in a web browser on a computer if you prefer. Be sure to check the description of this video to see if there's any updates or changes made since this video was released. DIY Loop is a closed loop algorithm that helps automate insulin delivery. It is experimental and not approved by the FDA. This presentation is provided to assist you in making your own decisions in consultation with your healthcare professionals regarding your own diabetes self-management. You take full responsibility for building and running this app and do so at your own risk. So when you build an app via test flight, it's only usable for 90 days, which is three months, before you're required to rebuild it. You can rebuild at any time though, so it's best not to procrastinate until your 90 days are almost up. You can also check if there's an update available for the app. Let's jump on over to github.com and tap your GitHub username forward slash loop workspace, or you can get there directly by going to github.com forward slash your GitHub username forward slash loop workspace. To get a rough overview of what was changed since the last time you updated, you can tap X commits behind. In this case, we're two commits behind. Tapping on each commit should give you a little more information, but there's a good chance that it might be written too technically for many to understand. A more readable list of changes can be found by going to github.com forward slash loop kit forward slash loop forward slash releases and reading the description of every version since the last time you built. All right, let's go back a couple pages. And hit sync fork, then update branch to bring our loop to the latest version. You should see it now says this branch is up to date with the main branch, which is what we want. To rebuild, tap Actions at the top. In portrait mode, you have to tap All Workflows first, and then number four, Build Loop. Hit Run Workflow. Confirm it says the branch you want to build. If you want to switch to a different branch, you might have to use Landscape mode to see the other branches. I only have the main branch available on this, but if there was more, they would show up in this list. Hit the green Run Workflow button. Now give it an hour or so to build and upload to Apple Developer before it'll be available in your test flight. If you get an error, go to loopdocs.org to look for a solution. A direct link is in the description of this video. If you look and can't figure out the solution to your problem, post in the Loop and Learn Facebook group and include your GitHub username. Some of the more common solutions are to just run it again and to check developer.apple.com to see if there's a program license agreement that you have to accept. You can also look out for an email from Apple Developer saying it's available. Once it is, you can open the test flight app, tap update, and once it finishes loading, you're done. This build should be good for the next 90 days, so repeat the process before then. I'd like to thank the Night Scout Foundation for everything they've done and continue to do for the We Are Not Waiting community, including funding the Apple Developer account for us to make this video with. If you'd like to return the favor, please pay them a visit at nightscoutfoundation.org forward slash donate.